Good morning, guys. I'm back here again with my 18th fortnight video. Okay, and last time I was talking about you know uh, that I'm going to discuss the reasons behind why we do the way we do anything in the business, right? And uh, last time I was talking about that I'm going to explain one by one, you know, the reason behind every step which we tell you to do in the business, right? So starting from the beginning when you attend a welcome, it is told to you by somebody who's done doing a welcome that you know you have to prepare the dream list actually right now it sounds so simple and silly and and people must be wondering oh again this dream topic again right but i i'm not going to talk to you about the dream topic i'm not going to talk to you about why dream is important and all that right i'm going only to talk to you about why that writing down dream is so important and why it is stressed upon so much and still there are more than 60 to 70% people who still don't understand how this process is to be done and how it impacts in your life actually right and a lot of people don't even know how exactly you know to check whether the downline has done this kind of exercise properly or not right because i've been building new teams every two year right and now you know vietnam is a new team which i'm building and i observe there as well that how much even if even after telling that how this aspect is not taken very seriously by a lot of people right okay so so when you attend a welcome and person tell you you know that you have to prepare a list of 20 dreams guys you know more than 50% people don't take it seriously and they don't even finish the dream list of 20 plus dreams right now understand in this business, you have to go through a lot of, you know, lot of, uh, lot many times you go through laziness, you go through, uh, you know, your voice stops you because you are in a comfort zone, because you're not on the road actually, right? But this business is to make your life better. And obviously, it's not, it will not happen overnight. So you need something to look up to for a, as a long term dream, right? And most of the people don't even know what is exactly is a long-term dream. So when you start doing a dream list, actually, right? When you start thinking about your dreams, you know, it's it's it opens up your mind. It opens up you as a person because as a child, what you were dreaming about, sometimes you stop dreaming about that also when you grow up, right? Okay, we we only think about uh, basic necessities, and we think those basic necessities are actually dream, right? But those are basic necessities. Those are not the real dreams. I'm talking about real emotional dreams, right? Okay. So first of all, it is so important to do that exercise because when you do this exercise, there is a you know there is a subconscious mind which start working towards achievement of that dream, right? But that is I'm not going to tell you why it is important to do the dream list because during welcome, somebody who does welcome that person already explained you, right? But how it is to be done is more, very important because I've seen that many people don't do it and those who do it out of them also, 60 to 80% people just do it mechanically actually, right? They just go back and write down dreams mechanically and most of them don't even, don't, don't even read the, that dream book again for many months again and again, right? Okay, so see again, it is not a mechanical exercise. You have to understand when you do the dream list, you need, it need to touch your heart actually, right? Okay, and you need to visualize that you need to really, you, you know, you need to really live that moment when you're achieving that kind of a dream. And when that happens, you actually get so closer to that dream and that dream actually pushes you every day. Okay, and how to how you get to know whether you're close enough to that from that dream or not, right? Because whenever you talk about that dream, whenever you think about that dream, whenever you visualize that dream, right? Is it going some vibration in your body, right? I mean to say some emotions are getting triggered or not, right? Some people get tears actually, some people get goosebumps, some people get anger, some people get passionate while talking about that dream, correct? And till the time that you don't get such, such dream actually, right? You will not be able to derive energy from anywhere because you need a lot of energy, you need a lot of resilience to go through in this business, but you need to have a strong reason to do that, right? And this become a very, very strong reason. So check, are you shy of talking about your dream? Correct. When you talk about your dream, do you really get those vibrations in your body? Correct. Do you really get those goosebumps or, or maybe tears or maybe, you know, maybe that kind of a passion or anger actually, whatever. Some emotion need to get triggered when you talk about that dream. I've seen people talking about that dream as a mechanical process and they have it written down on the dream list also, right? But again, it is not close to their heart. 
so i call it not a dream list i call it a wish list actually they wish to get something and about which they are not emotional very much right so yes it makes sense to get these kind of things in life so that's why exactly they wish to get those things right but if you're not emotional about it believe me because when you get something emotional right when you get something you know very emotional about something and every now and then it does not allow you to sit back and do nothing right you get energy you you just you just want to keep working about that it's like a love affair right when you love someone you always want to talk about that person you always wanted to talk to that person you always want to be that with that person actually right you know, the moment you get some time you call that person right you you think about that person you visualize about that person right and and it it gives you a happiness it gives you a different kind of a feeling same way when you get attached to your dreams right and if the dream come in your heart and it really start giving you vibrations right okay those vibrations are signal to universe because universe does not understand what you are writing actually right universe only understand while you are writing how are you feeling and those feelings create some emotions and those emotions create some vibrations and universe can only understand those vibrations right when you are talking about that dream universe does not understand that language universe only understand how you are feeling what is your emotion and your vibrations actually and that goes to the universe actually right okay even when you're sitting in front of a prospect maybe a prospect may not understand your language but the vibrations which is actually coming from your emotions are basically contagious and these people get influenced and inspired by you when you have such dream which is so important which actually gives you goosebumps which actually gives you tears which actually makes you so emotional about it right okay emotions does not means crying only right yes it is including crying anger passion goosebumps anything but you know you have to nurture that dream even when you write dream list even if you are close to that you know how to how to get more closer and how to start living for that purpose basically you have to give some time to that dream you have to spend time with that dream how you have to write about those dreams and feel about it you have to visualize a perfect day with those dreams getting fulfilled actually right every day you have to talk about that with your family member with your neighbors with your downlines with your uplines with your friends not because you want them to get into the business because just you want to share your dream right because the more you share the more you listen you about your own dreams right and that is a reminder to you again and again and you know after some time you start living in a illusionary world right you know it's not a illusionary world but it is for me it is a highlight world actually right where in your head it is already happened it is already happened because you're talking about it so many times you're visualizing it so many times that in your head it is already done but you are basically physically in the process to reach there but mentally it is already done and then no looking back after that right then no rejection will shake you no challenge will shake you no you know any team collapse will not shake you because you are already there mentally right and you start loving doing what you do because you are loving the outcome of that thing actually right which is nothing but that dream of yours which is so emotional right okay and don't uh, these days there's a there's a there's a there's a fashion of picking up a fancy dream or somebody which you know when you look cool when you talk about it right don't get bothered what is a dream for a other person right what is your dream is more important people will come and laugh at your dream maybe right but that is maybe if that gives you a vibration if that dream gives you a emotion which is like which is like restlessness and as if you want to just keep working towards that that is your real dream actually right it can be anything it may not be parents it may not be your life it can be anything right it can be as simple as that success you want to be successful in life right and that success itself can be a, a dream actually right so when you write down the dream list please understand it is not the mechanical process you have to live that moment every day you have to you know you have to nurture that dream you have to you have to embrace that dream every day you have to feel that moment every day that you know that moment when it is going to become true actually right and once you events you become so passionate about that dream okay then is then actually it is a dream otherwise it is a wish it is a wishful thought when you write something and you want to go for that because it's nice to have those things right yes it is nice but wishes 
you know, if you wish for something, you will not push yourself too much for that wish, right? But if you are dream, if you are emotional about something, you push yourself about it, right? So guys, okay, in this video, a simple small message, right? Take the first step to build this business very seriously, which is actually preparing a dream list, feeling those dreams from heart actually, right? Okay, not like one, two, three, four, like 20 finish, right? Visualize while writing after finishing maybe first dream, visualize about it, right? And keep doing that on daily basis. You don't need extra time. Whenever you're alone, whenever you're lying down on the bed, when you're driving, you can just visualize about that, right? Okay, and it should be so clear. If you keep doing that for, for 60 days regularly, you will get closer to that dream actually, right? Okay, it's like, it's like when a mother carries a kid, you know, for nine months in her womb actually, right? So she's so close to that kid, even if the kid is not born, but in her mind it is already born, she already got the picture because she is holding that kid on daily basis inside her, right? So the dream should become like that for you, that, like that kid, that even if you talk about that, even if you think about that, you get emotional about that, right? Okay, and you can do anything and everything about it, right? Okay, so that is number one. And people who actually have done this exercise knowingly, unknowingly, you guys have to ensure that when, when a new IR sign up actually, right? And they attend a welcome. Welcome, again, it's not just the information, right? When they attend a welcome, yes, it is somewhat information. But after that, within two, three days, you have to sit with them and check the dream list. Now, again, some people do check the dream list, but they check it as if they are teacher, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, done, right? But, you know, you have to, you have to spend time with your downline after they prepare a dream list and you have to really ask them to talk about it, right? This is the session wherein you should do more of a listening than talking about it, right? Okay, they should, you should listen to the new person and explain, like for example, I want to give best to my parents, right? So ask them, please explain, explain more and more. Maybe ask them about their past, how life parents lived and what kind of a life they want in future, how they think, what kind of a thought process they want in future, anything actually. But let's see how much they can talk about it. The more they talk about it, the more get closer actually, they get closer to that dream, right? So for 20 dreams, maybe they should, you should allow them to talk for two to three minutes every dream minimum, right? And, and, and then you can add that maybe, maybe more flavor, do the icing on that and basically give them a very good vision about that when exactly it will get fulfilled. We will do this, we will do that, you know. Basically, you, you need to prepare a, a wonderland actually in their mind which will come, become true one day actually, right? Okay, because once that becomes, in, in the, the, that wonderland is prepared in their mind, they come in the highlight zone. After that, it is just a matter of few months before they achieve this dream, right? But they have to be very, very emotional and close about that dream, right? It should not be a, it should not be just a mechanical process and the thing actually to achieve, right? Okay, so guys, you know, check all your downlines dream. Let them talk about it, right? Okay, and then, you know, obviously if the person is not very attached with what he is written about, don't tell that person immediately that time, oh, I don't think you're serious about it. It's just the indication on you that you have to work more on his dream before you start working on his uh, calling or prospecting or any uh, team building exercise actually, right? Because once this piece is fixed, right, then you can fix a lot of other pieces very easily. Otherwise, if this piece is not fixed, believe me, all other things will become just a mechanical process, right? So guys, Take the dream exercise seriously and keep doing it. Visualize it. Live the moment in advance. Go in highlights. You know, transmit signal to the universe, right? In the form of emotions and vibrations. And that is only possible when you dedicate every day some time to your dream, which includes visualization, talking about it, which includes, you know, uh, writing about it and all that, right? Okay? Preparing a dream chart. All these things are basically, it's like, it's like, it's like you're nurturing a baby to grow up actually, right? Okay, so kindly do this. You know, these days people have taken this exercise as a, as a, as a mechanical process and they just don't even remember what they want. And once they do it, they keep it on the shelf. They don't even read it, right? Why not reading every day and feeling that every day actually, right? Okay, so guys, fix this piece 
and think as if you're starting today. You will have a different fun while building a business if you get that kind of an emotional dream, if you get connected to that emotional dream, right? And it cannot be one, it can be many, but you have to feel that, right? Every day, daily basis. And appliance, please sit with your downlines, okay? And let them talk about their dreams. Let's see whether they are close or not, right? Okay? So, again, dream, dream, dream. This is a start point for this business, right? This is the only reason why we do this business, right? And if you don't take this seriously, then how business will work for you, right? Correct? So guys, work on your dreams, okay? I know everyone has a dream, right? But in, the, in life, in go to a come back home, go to a come back home, meeting two ends, we have forgotten about that, right? Okay? It is somewhere buried in, in deep in the heart, right? Take it out, visualize every day and remove all the dirt which is, which is there on top of it, right? Peel off every skin and reach out to the real dream. Visualize about it. Live the moment. You know, get the vibration. Feel the goosebumps. Feel the emotions. And you will see magic will happen to you, right? Okay, thank you very much. And you will see me again after fortnight. I love you guys.